Hello, and welcome to episode five of the Brink of Sanity show. I'm Jay. With me, as always, is Bri. I can't believe we made it to five episodes. It is. It's pretty unbelievable. Wow. Uh, Hi, everybody. In the studio today, we got Alex. I'm back. There was such an uh, outpouring of uh, just love for Alex and what he brought to last week's show that we had to bring him back this week. It was. We got some, uh, you know, some feedback. There. I, I heard you got uh, hate mail from... Uh, Malia and uh, my two roommates that uh, crashed your system because there was so many hate emails, right? Well, no, that <laughs> we, was we have a strong system. We don't need to. Uh... <laughs> we we up the servers after the third episode, and we're gonna we're gonna read excerpts from those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we got a big show tonight. Very we, big show. We have uh, crazy stuff going on. Just uh, lots going on. Um, no, that's it. We're, we're actually we're done. Yep, uh, and see you next week next. for episode six. <laughs> are the odd shows more funny? I mean, because it is number five, so are they, are they more funny or less? Uh, funny? Well, episode one stunk. Um, I think three and four are both good. So I it, think it was just uh, the first two that just stunk. All right, yeah. well. One was horrible, two was medium, three and four were good, five will be medium, six will be terrible. And then it was just sort of like up and, and down, up and down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think we're moving in the right direction, though. Well, we'll we got rid of the Hagen, so we're doing okay now. Yeah, exactly. So, um, oh, if you want to email us, the the brink of sanity at gmail dot com. Uh, you could Skype us at the brink of sanity, but you have to do it between eight thirty and nine thirty on Wednesdays, because uh, that's the only time we're on. Yep. Um, is there anything else? Uh, the brink of sanity dot dot com for uh, all our past episodes. If you like our show, tell a friend. Spread the word. Yeah, you know, a couple more listeners couldn't hurt. So uh, I guess we'll just get into it, right? It'd be nice to have some people that listen that don't know us, as opposed to everybody we know who does know us and has to tell us it's good because they like us. Yeah, exactly. I want to get some outside feedback. Actually, nobody has told me that they listened and or liked it, so it's all on your end. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I know probably four or five people that have listened to every one so far. That's cool. Apparently, know. Stink. Yeah. They, you know, they, they, I've gotten pretty good feedback. You know, they, they kind of feel the same way we have. It's gotten better as it's as it's gone along. It's uh, to be ex- better with Alex than with uh, Joel. Uh, Sorry. You know, just, uh, it just didn't flow. <laughs> Kept talking <laughs> over Bry and. Not talking when nobody else is talking. I did get positive feedback on the create your own word that we did on the first two, which we haven't oh, yeah. done in the past two. Right, that's true. Oh. We we're still keeping up the creative names of the episodes, but uh, we we should get back to making up our own words. Yeah, yeah. Can can uh, can this be the dome episode? Dome. dome. Uh, are you going to explain? Oh what? well, um. Uh, a friend of mine, well, a guy, my roommate back in college, uh, his big thing was to go up to girls when they were drunk at bars mm-hmm. and say, can you separate dome into two words? Uh, uh-huh. no, no, this, <laughs> no, this will not be the dome show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It's closer to the dom show. <laughs> Dirty old man. Dirty old man. <laughs> Gotta try. Alex is a, di- a dom in training. D I T. He's a dit. Dit, 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 dit. Dits and doms. Maybe that'll be the name of this episode. Dits and doms. All right. So I I've been have... having. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go, go for it. No, I was going to say I got a request. Uh, somebody who listened to the show said that we should. Well, this would be hard since we're both in different places, but we should try to do something. Remember in Mexico when Rhino gave us the. Uh, a tape recorder to go out and talk to people, and we fucked it up, and we didn't get to do it. I, I can't believe that. That was that was our that was our opportunity. That, man. Yeah, it was. So um, somebody who listens to the show told me that we should try to do that again, like go out and record people, like do dumb surveys or get people drunk and ask them stupid questions, try to record it and play it. Which okay, would, it, it's a good idea, except it'd be difficult because we're both in opposite places. But the next time right. we out, we should work on it. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, if you come to the city, we can do a special Word on the Street episode, but you have to ask them how the hell we would do that, because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. 
The, the fact that the people don't understand the fact that these episodes are actually showing up on the net is like amazing because I don't know what I'm doing. So if you want to get high tech like that, you got to help us out a little bit. Well, we'd have to it. get like uh, like I know the lawyers at my office have like these digital dictaphone things. Oh, I'll yeah. just get a digital dictaphone. That's all yeah, and then you know you <laughs> plug it into the computer and it turns into a, like a WMA file or something, and and then we'd have to you know. Or you, or you can get, uh, you know, I don't know how expensive it is, but for your iPod, you can get a, something that you just speak into and it records. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh, it's just like a little attachment. My iPod is broken. I don't know. Do you have one, Bry? Boo-hoo. Yeah, I got one. It's uh, somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's still in a box somewhere. So you got a broken one and a lost one. That's, That's how funny. often I use it. So uh, first, um, first listener to send us a digital dictaphone gets... Uh, <laughs> A thank you email. Yeah. Uh, you and get your name on the air. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. We'll say thank you, blah, 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 on the air, and then uh, all dozen of our listeners will... Uh, we'll give you a listen. plug. Yeah. It'll, it's amazing. So, so how's it... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to uh, ask everybody how their week is going. Uh, my, I had a very eventful week, actually. How about you, Alex? Uh, I've, I've been busy and, uh, you know, being pummeled at the gym. Alex likes to lift things. <sighs> Better like, things to do than to lift pieces of metal. Yeah. The only thing I lift is my fork. <laughs> I lift <laughs> my gut. What about, what about your <laughs> beer? <laughs> to put on my belt, I lift up my gut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come off it. Beyond that, I mean, I'm just, you know, there's lots of auditions and shit going on and, Waiting to hear back from uh, Lake Tahoe. I may be going there this summer, so we'll wait and see on that. Cool. Good luck with that. Alex actually ran into Mr. Nahagian at uh, his last audition. Yeah, right. I think he but talked still, about that last week, didn't he? The, the real Mr. Yep. Nahagian, though. Yep. Yeah. Johnny. This week, um, actually, I think elevators have uh, had it in for me. I, I don't know what I did, but um, it's uh, not a good week for elevators. Did you get stuck in one? I did. I did. Uh, what? Yeah. That's, that's I was, great. I was leaving work on Friday, and I get in the elevator with these two Asian guys, and the, we get down. Oh, I'm on the 38th floor. We get down to the 28th floor, and then the elevator, like, free falls for about oh, five. Wait. Before you go any further, it's Chinaman. Chinaman? Chinaman, okay. not Asian American. I, I thought they liked Orientals. But, uh, <laughs> Well, whatever, alien faces, whatever they want to be called. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, the elevator like free falls for like five feet, and, and then stops short. And I'm like sprawled out against the wall with my arms out, like totally freaking out. Because for some reason, the the last two weeks, I've had a fear of the elevator free falling, and I've had all these plans to like what to do if it actually happened, and then it started happening, and I was like, holy shit, it's actually happening. Of course, I didn't do anything that was in my plans because I was frozen in fear. But um, then it stopped, and then it like kind of like free fell another foot like twice, and then like stopped. And then um, I guess it was going down really slow after that, but so slow that we couldn't tell it was moving. So uh, we called um, the lobby with that little elevator call button, and uh, I don't know. It was it was the most awkward conversation. It was, it was like. There's some like black guy in the lobby asking like if we're moving, and then the the Oriental guy like saying he doesn't know if we're moving or not. And uh, eventually, I guess it got to the bottom floor, but the doors didn't open, and then it shot back up to the 28th floor. And the doors open, and I ran out, and I turned around to them like, uh, I don't know about you guys, I'm not going back down in that elevator again. I'll wait for a different one. And they like ran out with me, and uh, you could have taken the stairs after that. 28 floors on my sprained ankle. No, thank you. Well, then don't bitch if you get trapped in an elevator. Well, what else am I going to do? Alex, back me up here. Well, I mean, sp- speaking from... All right, yeah, I mean, if you really, really... If that should happen to me, I would highly consider taking the stairs. It's not like you're going up the stairs, Jay. You're going down. And it's going to take a while, but... Yeah. I- I'm well, sure Jay didn't have a date that night, so... No. You know, it's funny. What, um... what makes you so sure? <laughs> I've known you ten years. That's what makes uh-huh. me so sure. 
Um, and speaking of uh, elevators, I mean, uh, and accidents, have you ever seen the German film Dirty Liefden? No, is it about a dirty leaf? It's called, it, well, it basically translates into The Lift. Ah, and it, it's like a horror movie where this elevator kills people. Nice. Oh, those Germans. Oh, it was it was kind of silly. Well, we had a horror phase. Me and my friends went through. We would watch horrible horror movies. Well, I'm a big fan of horrible horror Sounds movies. Sounds like a good description of it. Well, you should go see or rent the Gore Gore Girls. Hmm. Is that so, uh, Al Gore? Or... Um, no, it's. I think it's from the late seventies, early eighties. Um, and actually, the director I think is fairly well known in the horror circuit. Like older gentleman, I forget what his name is, but um, Gorsham, Gorsham. I don't know. Oh, anyway. Roger Corman. Corman. No. There you go, Roger Corman. Yeah, totally, totally him. And it's also it's also got like an older who's the older comedian way back in the day that used to bring a violin on stage with him. Tiny Tim? No, he brought a ukulele. Um, uh, anyway. Emo know. Phillips. <laughs> I don't even Cook. know what that is. You don't know <laughs> Emo Phillips? He's that guy he that talks... He emo music. Yeah, he did. He talks in like this weird, like high-pitched, what are you going to do? <laughs> he, he, you, know, you don't know him? I no. I, I know the name, and I, I think I know who you're talking about. He was in the movie UHF. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. That's yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Okay. Actually, sawed off his finger in that movie. Yeah. Back in the day of like um, Bing Crosby, his era. This is the comedian Bob Hope. <laughs> yeah, Bob Hope was in a horrible horror movie. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about either. So the day after that elevator debacle, the elevator in my building broke. So then I'd walk up six flights of stairs. So it was a double header of bad elevator days. So the universe is telling you to to get your fat ass in shape. <laughs> walk up the stairs. Well, like my ankle didn't explode every time I tried to go up the stairs. I would do it, but you know, it's not happening right now. I got three words for you. See the doctor. <laughs> I got three words for you. No health insurance. One, two, okay. There Go in, no identification and pretend you don't know who your name is. Or maybe get seen and then just run. On your spring day. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I'll, like, sprain it again and then they'll have to see me again. And <laughs> you I'll try again. and run again. You're never going to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> have either of you guys uh, done your taxes? Yes, I've done my taxes. Mm, I sent mine to my parents, so. I'm getting fucked this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. I think I'm about even. I'm going to get like $2. I, I, had to, I had to pay 3500 Ouch. What? <laughs> yeah, I got fucked. What did you, like, get a bunch of money you wanted in Atlantic City or something? No, I well, I had to cash in savings bonds for down payment for my place. And, uh, oh. The, right. uh, the closing was originally supposed to be in December. And so I, in December, like... Probably like two weeks into December, I, uh, I cashed in the bonds, and I didn't take, I didn't have them take any taxes out at the time, and I, re- I realized I fucked up, and I had to pay taxes on it. So, but everything got pushed back to January. So if I would have known that and I waited till January, I wouldn't have had to worry about it for another year, and by then I would have more deductions and stuff that would lighten the load. But nope. So I had to pay thirty thirty four sixty seven. Yeah, that's um, a lot. There goes the hot tub I was going to put in. You spoiled brat. <laughs> this is this is the every year I get raped every year. Yeah. Why? Well, just because it's you know it's the are time. You where... Asking for it? Or are you dressing provocatively and you know, teasing? <laughs> Hello, the government? Paris man. <laughs> you wearing low cut shirts and? Yeah, my Daisy Dukes and my. Uh... <laughs> half shirt. <laughs> well, then you can't blame the government. I mean, you're asking for it. I see the way you dress at those bars. I know. No means yes. Uh, uh, let's not turn this into a therapy session. <sighs> Alex had uh, Alex had fun at the bar on Saturday. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. 
It was, uh, it was a little Philly that had his eye on him. Oh, God. <laughs> the size of Philly or... Uh... Uh, Rhode Island. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a question. How many times for either of you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you time. been? <laughs> all, all the time. All the time. Have you been in a situation where, you know, somebody's friend mm -hmm. likes you or something? Yep. And then the friend... She may not be your friend, but, you know, she's an acquaintance. Will come up and start asking you questions about this other person. And you're supposed to, you know, automatically assume the best about this person and tell them how you're really feeling. Now, you should always sugarcoat it because, you know, it's another Because they're women and they tell each other everything. Yeah, and this girl came up to me, so what do you think of so-and-so? You know, you guys met up a while ago and, you know, what's going on? And I... Just kind of said, well, you know, she's great and all, but I just, and I, and then I was about to say some more, and she goes, but there's just no magic, right? And I went, well, yeah, I guess you could put it that way, yeah. That's, you know, that was cordial enough. Uh, you know, and I, I would just, you know, and I talked to her, this other girl, you know, for a while, and, you know, she's beyond, you know, using the, you know, the regular term, nice. Right. She is nice. She's friendly. She's got a good sense of humor. I'm she's just fat. not. I am not attracted to her. Okay. All right. She's um, got a she's got my... a very pretty face. Okay, that's about it. Well, you know what my friend did? My friend told her that me and Alex only date skinny chicks. Why'd she you know, do that? Uh. I don't know, to make it awkward for all parties involved from here on, I guess. My standard answer in a situation like that is if I'm out and then somebody says, so what'd you think of, you know, so-and-so? First I say, well, what do you mean, what did I think of her? You got to get them to say, well, do you like her, blah, blah, blah. And then you just say, oh, you know, I, I just met her. I never, I didn't really think of it anything like that. Right, avoid the, the little yeah. wow. thing at Non-committal, I like it. Yeah. Bry yeah, yeah. is the best uh, at <laughs> and not saying anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I am. I right, hope... took hours and not say one meaningful thing. Yeah. I'm a poor man's Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Shit. I just hope no girls I know that uh, I ever did that to are listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can't be like, you know, she's a wildebeest. Yeah. And, uh... Well, things are complicated. It's never cut and dry, you know? Right. So... But I think that's just really fucked up because this is her friend. A, I didn't say that. Right. Right. And B, I may not have said that. <laughs> <laughs> but and, but and like C, you know, she's saying this hurtful thing to her friend that neither of us said. Right. Yeah. That's really fucked up. Maybe yeah, she was trying to end her friendship with her and using you guys as bait. Maybe so. This friend was kind of rubbing up on me on the dance floor, too. Women are so. very devious like that. Really? Yeah. They'll sell uh, each other out for a dollar. She, uh... But because her boyfriend doesn't dance. You know, I'm just... I really want to say stuff, and I'm really not sure who's going to end up listening or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why I'm, I'm being very nondescript. <laughs> Man, I'm See, so... See, you're getting, you're getting good at, you know, noncommittal talking here. Yeah. Slowly but surely. All right, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah. Go for I'm it, speaking. Jay. You could edit it out later if you want. Yeah, but you know I'm not going to. I'm yeah, just going to yeah. throw it out there. There's not There's a chance. Of just don't anything. use any names, that's all. Oh. If we're going to rant about women, I, I got a couple of things that piss me off about women if you want me to go first. We might as well just get it all. Nobody listens to this anyway. So I, I think like if people start listening, it's going to be people we don't know. Yeah. I, I think everyone we know and who's they listening. They probably won't listen very, very long. Right. <laughs> Yeah, less people than me send, for me to send uh, Christmas cards to. Exactly. Oh, what were you going to say, Alex? Oh, I was just going to say that uh, it has nothing to do with women, but it was that night that was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, that fucking that that band was not called the the uh, the beef curtains. It was called the roast beef curtains. Oh, even so. funnier. It should have been called "We Think We're Sublime, But We're Not." I hate Sublime. The, Don't get me started. The, this band played for two hours and played, like, one song that wasn't a Sublime song. I hate Sublime. 
because you would have loved that play. You would have hated it. <laughs> the only thing I like about Sublime is that when I hear Sublime, I think of that guy Billy that lived next to me when we were a freshman in college. Good old Billy. I like Billy, but everything else about Sublime I hate. I'm so glad he died. <laughs> I am. I, I I know that's... I, I wish bad things on people, and bad things already happened to him, so I don't have to wish them on him anymore, but you should hear me all day at work. I just wish horrible, horrible things on, on people, and like... Um, like uh, let's see, uh, that guy, Ch- the lead singer in Nickelback, Chad Kroger. That guy should die like the most gruesome public death. Like he and should get be, resurrected like, and then die again. What? And then get resurrected and then die again. He should like be like on like the Grammys, like accepting an award, and somebody just comes like at a guillotine, just chops his head off. You know who should get it? The guy who sang uh, a "Bad Day." It's been a bad day. He oh, you mean the person that's horrible. not Macy Gray? Because the first time I heard that, I thought it was Macy Gray. That train? I don't know. I don't, all these groups are all... All these crap rock, wuss rock, uh, emo, whatever the hell you want to call it, they, they all sound the same. I don't Why know. If you told me it was My Chemical Romance, I wouldn't notice. Same shit. <laughs> same shit. I think those guys are a little harder than that, aren't they? That stupid... Uh, Panic at the Disco group. Same shit. Same shit. Well, that Alex music likes. is all bullshit. I don't know. Any, I've heard of these bands, and I have no idea what they're doing. Okay, no, you give me a look like uh, I have, I'm listening to that on my iPod right now. <laughs> no. I'm going to shut out of this conversation. I got, I got tickets to see them <laughs> next week. <laughs> I have their poster on my ceiling, so every day I wake up and see them. No, but I do hold a m- memorial service for Bradley every year on the date of his death. Who? Who's Bradley? Bradley, the lead singer from Sublime. Uh, ah. I didn't even know that. Ba-doom. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. It's me tripping. Over yep. myself. So I went out to eat on Saturday. Went to an Indian restaurant with uh, my roommate and who is my Indian? special lady friend. Yeah, who is Indian. So, um, you know, we went there and our waiter was Probably the worst waiter ever. I, I he just tried to upsell on every single part of the meal. It was it was more stressful than it was <laughs> enjoyable. It was like haggling for for every single thing. Uh, I was calling him Mister Upsell uh, halfway through the dinner. We like we got there and uh, they have these uh, drinks called lychees. Mm-hmm. Um, my roommate wasn't sure if we'd like them, so we ordered two for the three of us. And so the guy's like, uh, you don't want a third drink? And we're just like, no, we're fine with the, you know, those two. He's like, I can make you something else. And we're just like, no, the, you know, these two drinks are what we want. And he's like, well, I could make you uh, a vodka drink. And I was like, the two lychees will be plenty, thank you. And he's like, I can make a margarita. I can make a Cosmo. Uh, it was just like he just kept going at it. And I was just like, I want to see the food menu, and I want you to not be here anymore. Did you say that to him? I didn't say I didn't say that last part. I Should was just like I'd like to see the food menu. Cool. What your audio's freaking? Did we lose Bry? What? Oh, we lost you for a second. Oh, I, I said you should have told him you want to drink his blood. That'll get him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I should have. You know, if I knew that that was just the beginning and not the end of it, uh, then I would have. Because then he came back and. Uh, he didn't even give us a food menu for like 10 minutes. And then we got food menu and we order, uh, you know, a couple dishes. One, you know, two of them were chicken dishes. And he's like, Are you sure you want lamb? Lamb's good. You know, because lamb's like $4 more than chicken. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're like, no, you know, what we ordered is uh, kind of what we wanted. And he's like, have a white meat. You want white meat in the chicken? You know, because that's $4 more than the normal. And uh, he just like kept going at it the whole time. It was It was ridiculous. And uh, charged us uh, for rice, because apparently rice doesn't come with a meal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we ordered two portions of rice, and he's like, three? Pre- like, pretending he didn't hear us. And I was just, at this point, I'm starting to get really pissed off. <laughs> Are you downloading porn? You're, like, totally cutting out. No, I'm not downloading. I'm just watching it. Gotcha. Um, so the rice was $7 per portion. Wow. Rice. And then he talked us into a bread basket for non-bread, mm-hmm. 16 bucks. So now we paid $30 between bread and rice. 
Wait, sixteen dollars? How many pieces of naan was that? How, how many actual? Three different kinds of naan. Uh, I guess it was actually three nons cut into thirds. Oh, okay. So you got... Th- Shit. Yeah. 16? Yeah. It was ridiculous. I was more pissed about the $14 for rice. All right. Well, that's... Fuck, that's like five... Wow. All right. Whatever. Yeah. No, it goes on. Then, then uh, after dinner, the guy comes over with the steam towel. Uh-huh. And... Um, Should have threw it at him. He, uh, uh-huh. you know, he goes over to me. He's like, you know, steam towel. And I was like, no. I mean, I ate with a fork and knife. So, like, I'm not dirty at all. So I was like, no, thank you. And he's like, you don't want the steam towel? And I just grabbed it. I'm like, fine, whatever makes you go away is what I want. I, that one I actually did say to him. And uh, so I went, um, dinner's over, and I go to the bathroom. I'm gone like two, three minutes tops. And I come back, and my coat's already taken from the coat room and put on my chair. And he was asking the other two people when we were leaving. Was there a line at the door or something? No, he was done with us. You know, we he should have pissed on the table. But... <laughs> You're too civilized, yeah. Jay. You you need to just start acting out like a child. Well, they like didn't. That. You know, I was at my boiling point, uh, but then I I didn't know he asked them when we were leaving, because that would have just set me off. Because I at that point I had it, and uh, they didn't tell me till we were walking out the door what he what he said. I was like flipping out. Please tell all of our listeners where this restaurant is located so yeah. they will never go there. It's on 49th and 3rd. It's called, I think, the Bukhara Grill. Bukhara. If you go to Yelp.com, Y-E-L-P, uh, I wrote out a huge rant uh, on their review site. Yelp is like a site where you review like bars and restaurants and like pretty much anything. Oh, wait, so, this is right by Geller, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, my roommate randomly picked it and ended up being like, across the street from where I work. Oh, shit. Uh, so, yeah, I wrote a huge rant and put it on that site. So, you can read that. So, yeah, Bukhara Grill. Guy's such a piece of shit. I want to go back in there and pee on the table and punch him in the face and leave. You should go, like, spill drinks and pour your food on the floor and throw up all over the place. Tell him you got a parasite or something. Or just let him upsell me for everything on the menu when I go back and then just, like, skip out on the bill. There you go. I'm sure he's got plenty of money charging seven dollars for a plate of scoop of rice. That's why I don't eat at McDonald's. Fine dining. They don't upsell you there. They supersize you. Yeah. They have. I have never. I haven't been to one in so long where they're like, "Would you like the supersize?" Yeah, I don't even think they do that. No. But even if they do, like if you say no, that's like end of story. It's not like. You know, you, well, how about a bigger fries? Well, how about a bigger drink? Well, why don't you get a double quarter pounder? My only thought is, all right, is this guy like brand new to the waiting industry, or like he looked what like he fuck? was uh, like the owner of the place or something? He was just this rude old fucker who did not give a shit about anything except making more money. And I, he went to the table next to us too, and he was doing the same shit next to us, trying to upsell them on everything. I was like, hmm. when they when he was doing that at the next table, I'm like, instead of uh, something cheap, why don't you buy something more expensive? You should have gotten up and left. Yeah, I was tempted. I mean, the food was good, but it wasn't worth, like it was stressful. Yeah, that ruins the whole thing when they even do that. Shit. Yeah, I was like, you know, stressed and pissed by the time the food showed up, and yeah, that was before I even knew that we got raped with rice. <laughs> yeah, I was at a very sort of. I don't know, I guess expensive restaurant the other night for my friend's birthday party. And, you know, I really only wanted to have a drink, but then I got suckered into, like, having some of the food. And it was it was Indian food, and it was, I mean, it was okay. Mm-hmm. But, um, God, the, I mean, I had one drink, and other people were like, ordered mar- margaritas and margaritas and champagne and wine and da-da-da-da-da and mm-hmm. all these things. Let me guess, it's one of those, let's spill the... Let's uh, split the bill. Evenly, right? Let's split the bill except for the person's birthday who it was. Right, right. So now you, they want you to pay like forty dollars for like a oh, no. beer, right? More? No, I I had a couple things to eat, but I don't think that I had fifty dollars worth. Jesus. So, but I mean, I don't know. I they, they were I don't know how much of it was free and how much of it wasn't because my friend used to work there, so I'm sure they gave her some sort of deal. But um, you bail early in that. You say, oh, I gotta uh, go and leave like twenty on the table. Yeah. I should have just brought cash and paid for, yeah, just like that, but I fucking didn't. I have my credit card. So you had to pay the whole thing? Well, they, each of them were paying like 60 and I said, listen, I, you know, I, 
I ate a little bit, and I'll chip towards her food and her, and her drinks and stuff. But I, I can't pay sixty, seventy dollars in a way. Right. You know, that's what I use for the whole you know week and a half to eat. Mm-hmm. Not one night where I've already eaten dinner. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I have a buddy who always does that. You go out with him, and he'll order like you know wings and you know potato skins and shit, and not ask you. And then, you know, drink like seven drinks, and then you're sitting there like not eating anything and have like two drinks, and he's like, oh, let's just split, split it evenly. I can't say split today. Split it evenly. And uh, then it gets into a big argument every time. It's a fun guy to hang out with. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of fun guys that you hang out with. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to um, I'm gonna play like uh, The Bachelor with my friends, and just like when they don't get the rose, I never hang out with them again. <laughs> And uh, that'll be the first one to go. I thought Leon would be the first to go. That's him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why He's am I not surprised? Gonna... You named Shut names. Up. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> Does Leon listen to the vlog? <laughs> Nobody listens, so I don't care. All right, now I'm just for that. I'm going to. I can't name names because everyone I know listens, so. Tell him to listen. He should know that he fucks up the bill all the time. Nah. He should know that. Yeah, I'm sure he knows he's a freak of nature. <laughs> I've never gone out with him where there's been a money situation and he didn't totally fuck it up. So if he hears that, then uh, constructive criticism. There you go. Learn how to divide. Boom. Fourth grade. <laughs> Not too hard. Deal with it. Carry a calculator. They have them in phones now, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, well. deal with it. It's not hard. I saw an interesting movie last night. Oh, what yeah? did you? See? And uh, and when I say interesting, I mean shitty. Really? Well, shitty, but shitty in a in a funny. Um. All right. Anyway, it's it's uh, from the '60s, from 1968. It's called Candy. C A N D Y. Terry Southern wrote this book called Candy, which the movie is based on. And uh, Buck Henry and somebody else wrote the screenplay. Now. It's got all these stars in it, like Marlon Brando and, and James Coburn and uh, Richard Burton and, you know, lots of older movie actors. Right. Mm-hmm. But in 68, Marlon Brando was huge in 68. So. Literally. He, he, hadn't ballo- <laughs> <laughs> he hadn't ballooned yet. Okay, pre-ballooned Brando. But basically, the, the gist of the story is there's this girl, Candy, who's a teenager, and the, the punchline is everybody wants a piece of candy. Exactly. I mean, it's like this fucking like weird. I mean, like even fucking Ringo Starr is in this movie. That's got to be quality, then. And he plays a Mexican gardener. Nice. He was <laughs> caveman. Got to give him credit for that. Oh my god! Is his Mexican accent? He did a really bad Mexican <laughs> accent. I, t- oh, I gotta see this. Oh my god! But the fun. I mean, and it's not like you know, just over an hour. It's like two hours long. Where do you find all these crazy, shitty movies that you've been watching? All right, well, I, I really, I've devised a list based upon actors that I like. So I looked through Marlon Brando. I thought you were going to say you were looking through Ringo Starr sections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, got to see all those Ringo Starr movies. Caveman and Candy and The End. And Help and Hard Day's Night. Right. And I don't know, there's something else I think he was in, but... Um, no, but I, I looked through Marlon Brando's and this early movie, or not early, mid, mid-career mid movie Candy showed up, and I was like, what's that? And then I saw all the other people in it was like really intrigued. What is this about? So uh, uh, that's why I, I rented that one. All the other movies I've rented really have been more of Did quality. Did you No, just because I wanted to see all, I mean, all these movies that I had Four seen. Four Girls. <laughs> Dude, that was when I was like... 18. Oh, I thought this was like last week. No, no. Gorgor Gore, Gore Girls was, yeah, back in, still in high school. Looking up uh, Ringo Stars IMDb. Ah, there you go. He's got to have some quality, quality stuff on here. Hey, what's his, uh, what's his real name? Uh, Scott Lennon. Uh, Starkey? Starkey, Richard yeah. Starkey. Richard Starkey. Starkey, there you go. He was in uh, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Yep. So, uh... No, keep going. Go down. Yeah. I don't think... Willie and the Poor Boys. Princess Daisy. 
There's Caveman. He was a took. I remember that shit. I watched that on pirated HBO. <laughs> Ringo was in a movie called Ringo. That is some uh, stretch of uh, acting skills right there. Oh, that's a good... Yeah. Sweet Son of Dracula, and he played Merlin the Magician. I gotta see that. And there it is. Yep, candy. And that's about it. Everything else is like Beatles shit. No, nah, anyway, but it was... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. It it was risque, but like there was only like one flash of a boob at one point. But there's like suggestion, like you see some asses and stuff, but that's it. There's no, it's not graphic by any means. Schnookums and the Meat Funny Cartoon Show. Meat funny. Meat funny, like M E A T. You guys ever seen the movie Slither? Unfortunately. Nope, I don't think so. Meat. Yeah, Yeah, don't pry. It's. don't you judge me, man! We watched that in a in a theater in uh, Illinois, and we were the only people in the theater. Nice. I was on tour, so we, it was a big funny jest for all of us. I went to get a cup of coffee yesterday, and you drink coffee? No, I just go out for like I go out for cigarette breaks, and I don't smoke. I go out for coffee <laughs> breaks. And I don't coffee i just walk around and do things awesome but everyone that i work with thinks i'm a smoker just because i go out and i stand with the smokers um so my, my buddy drinks the coffee secondhand stuff. smoker yeah exactly i just stand there with you know, pretending i'm smoking the uh, my buddy uh goes out for coffee in the middle of the day so he grabs me and we go in there and there's some lady uh my guess is completely insane um, she is screaming about how her brownie is too hard and doesn't want to pay for it. So, you know, guy is like, all right, fine, you know, don't pay for it. Like, and she's like flipping out. So she goes up to the counter with two other things, some like apple crumb cake, and she's like, uh, two apple crumb cakes and that's it. And so the girl starts, uh, plugging it in on the calculator and she's like, 225 times two, it's 450. And like, you know, like raising her voice at this poor girl that was just like making sure her math was okay. And, uh, you know, my buddy's like, you know, treat the lady with respect, you know, it's, she's just, you know, she knows what she's doing. And she's like, who do you think you are to talk to me like that? You know, mind your own business, asshole. And she's with like an eight year old girl. So then I was like, hey, nice language to use in front of your kid. She turns to me, she's like, don't tell me how to raise my kid. You mind your own business, you asshole. I'm like, yeah, it's smooth again, right in front of your kid. So we leave. And she comes out behind us, and she's, like, still yelling at us. She's like, assholes who can't mind their own business, those assholes. And <laughs> scream. This is, like, the middle of a busy street now. And she's walking after us, screaming with this poor little girl. So we uh, we get, like, in front of where we work. And uh, she's, like, a block away. And so I'm like, hold on a sec. Let's just stand here and, you know, see what happens. She sees us uh, again and changes direction, starts walking toward us again. So I start buying a lotto ticket just to waste time. And she, she's walking up toward us yelling. She walks past us and starts still, still screaming, pulling us assholes. And, like, as she was coming, some guy came up to us. He's, she's, he's like, is that crazy lady calling you guys assholes? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he started laughing. So she gets like a block away, and we see her all the way at the corner, turn around, and still yelling at us. It was, then we were just cracking up. She just wouldn't stop. She looked. Uh, there was something wrong with that lady. I felt bad for that little girl. Yeah, I think she was a uh, crackhead or something. Maybe. Gonna need therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, it was pretty funny though. It was, uh, you know. Supposed to be an uneventful trip to get coffee for two minutes, and it turned out being hilarious. Only in New York. Yeah, yeah, you know, every day is an adventure. We uh, we actually went out for lunch one day, and oh, I could have killed this. It's always a, a fucking woman starting trouble too. Oh, that's what this they lady, do. This lady walked past uh, one of the these street vendor things. And they had, like, uh, a cage uh, leaning up against their cart. And she bumps into it, and the cage 
falls over and hits a car that was at a red light and scratches the hood. <laughs> and so the guy gets out of the car. It's like these two, like, fat goombas. Like, oh, what's the matter you? You hit my car. And the lady turns and points at the guy who works at the cart thing and says it's his and walks away and doesn't take the blame for being a stupid bitch knocking it over. So these guys go over to this poor guy who's just trying to sell his uh, hot dogs from his stand and they're yelling about how he's got to pay for it and he doesn't even know what happened at this point. And I, I see the, the bigger guy grab the guy and throw him up against the hood and like hold him down by his neck and start screaming at the guy about how he has to pay for the damages and stuff. And uh, then the light changed and I walked away so I didn't see how it ended. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. That, that's Holy quite a letdown. You didn't. You, I don't know. I got to know what happened. I, I think he probably got pummeled, and the guy drove away. Hope they at least took his money. Yeah, I don't know. They probably flipped over his hot dog stand, <laughs> set it up. Dude, but like you're you're talking about Midtown. Like you could call nine one one, and the cop would be there in like thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. That's know. weird, dude. Yeah. That's flipping out. It's a fucking car. Yep. Whoa. Probably stolen car. Probably. Well, if it's a stolen car, you can get away with it. Because um, I was driving, when I was moving, I rented a U-Haul. And uh, I had to pick up my buddy who was going to help me move, but he was in Spanish Harlem, mm-hmm. which is not the uh, safest place to go. And uh, I was trying to get down this narrow street, and this asshole like double parked. And he sees me trying to drive this 14-foot van coming through. And, uh, you know. Always an adventure with a U-Haul with you, Jay. Yeah, every time I'm in a U-Haul, like, something catastrophic happens. <laughs> I, I don't get, like, you got to understand, the U-Haul place is across the street from where my buddy's place is. All I had to do was go <laughs> one block. And this guy's double parked, so I'm trying to squeeze through. And then I just hear this scraping sound. <laughs> oh, fuck. The U-Haul was wedged between this guy's car and the other side of whatever. Um, so, you know, I just keep going. I unscrape it. And then I just start going. The guy is talking with his friend out, like, next to the car. So I start to... <laughs> I try to drive away, and he starts running after me, chasing me. And I'm just like, oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> so I got out of the car, and... He's like, you didn't hear that? I'm like, no, it's loud inside the truck. I, what happened? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Just try to play dumb. And he's like, you scraped my car. I'm like, oh, well, you know, what do you want to do? You know, I'm sorry. What, what do you want to do about this? And I'm assuming he was like an illegal immigrant or something. Because he just like put his head down. He's just like, nothing. He just like walked away. So just I'm assuming. I didn't like, take the insurance on the U-Haul, so you're fucked. Yeah, Exactly. That he probably, uh, you know, he was probably like an illegal immigrant, and like if we called the cops, he would have got deported. So he was just like nothing. He just wanted an apology, I guess. So yeah. I said sorry, and I drove on. You should have. You should have backed, should have backed <laughs> into it after that. Get in. Oops, sorry, yeah. wrong gear. Really smash it. Whoosh! Oh damn! No, I didn't. Did I? I didn't hear that either. Did I crash the car, the U-Haul, when I was with, in it with you, Bri? <laughs> yeah, I remember in my town before we even got on the oh, highway. Oh, I skipped on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> on the ra- in, the, in the rain. We're, it, yeah, we're, we're skidding like sideways down the road on an icy road. Like, in a 14-foot truck? I think this one was only a 10-foot truck. But still, holy shit. Yeah, pretty much that's what I said. Yeah, we hit the stop sign. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> We're not and even out we're, of my town yet. Jay picked me up. We were going up, we we're going back to school, and uh, we're like, like going. And I'm like, Jay, uh, the stop sign. Take a left. Stop sign. What stop sign? Oh, that. <laughs> Boom. Stop sign down. And then when I was backing it into the lot, I backed up into something. Again. Into the building. So I've rented three U-Hauls and have had four crashes. Yeah. Good stuff. Maybe you should think about hiring movers next time, dude. Oh, <laughs> there will be movers. I mean, it cost me almost as much to do that as it would have for movers. Yeah. Because you all cost me like 200 bucks. And, How did it cost uh, you so much? Isn't it like 10 cents a mile? Um, it's like 10 cents a mile, but I don't know what happened. 
I don't know, insurance, the initial charge. Mm. Um, and then since I had to go from the East Village up to um, my buddy's place in Spanish Harlem and then all the way back down to Brooklyn and then return it all the way back up in Spanish Harlem, it was like a lot of miles. Mm. I, literally, I only moved three miles away, but I probably drove like 20, 25 miles. Oh, yeah, man. Well, I, I just rented a van from U-Haul over on 23rd and like 11th. Mm-hmm. Drove up to about 108 on the west side. Then drove down to the Lower East Side, 2nd Avenue and 3rd Street. Yeah, and it's we're talking just a van, and it was almost $100 for like three hours. It was, yeah. Yeah, and if I got movers, it would have been like uh, 250 bucks or something. And it wouldn't have taken me like all day to move my ship. That's probably the worst job I ever had, which is a mover one day. Really? It was horrible. You're going to lift things, yeah. But it's horrible. <laughs> horrible work. Yep. Yeah, moving you know, sucks. My, my longest workout session is like an hour. Now we're talking about like eight, ten hour a day, you know? Yeah. No way. No way. So did you guys watch the uh, Oscars? Uh, when was it? Sunday? It was Sunday. I watched like the first like ten minutes and then like two random parts of like five minutes. I didn't see a whole lot of it. I didn't see any of the movies this year, so I wasn't that into it. I watched zero minutes and zero seconds. You were all you were all sad because Phoenix lost, weren't you? You know, I just <laughs> <laughs> I watched part of that game because I was doing my laundry. Oh, it was a miserable game. It was a miserable game. But uh, no, I just you know, rich people I don't know getting awards. You know, don't really care. But John Stewart's funny. He wasn't that. Funny. He wasn't very funny. He's starting. I'm, I think I'm done with him. The monologue. Sure. I watched the monologue, and then because you, they used to do like the stupid monologue, and then the first two awards are supporting actor, supporting actress. Then you put it on like three hours later, and they do best picture, best actor, and, and all that. So I watched it like the monologue, and then like the first award, and it was like best cinematography for an animated movie or something. And I was like, fuck this, and I turned it off, and then. Like an hour later, I put it on for a second, and then like another hour later, I put it on for another minute. But Judd Stewart wasn't that good. I like this bit about uh, he compared Obama and like the names with you know how, how they're similar to oh with Hitler yeah, there was like a Schittler or something like that right yeah it was like Schmadolf Titler or oh, something yeah, Titler that's what it was yeah that part was pretty funny but other than that I I wasn't that impressed with the monologue. And uh, like I, was I said, a, I didn't see any of the movies, so. I was at a party. My friend loves to dress up and get all frilly for the Oscars and has cocktails and da 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 You have weird friends. <laughs> well, actor actors sometimes are very strange. This is true. Oh, yeah, I see. But, it's uh... secure people, so they have to put on a show. Well, I, you know... She does it for me. I think she just does it for other people. But mm. um, did meet some this hot dancer girl there, and then I met a really hot married woman. But nothing wrong with that. Her husband was sitting right next to me. So. Wait, who's listening? I got to be careful here. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she was Australian. Ooh. Oh, loved her voice. Ooh. It's hot. Nicole Kidman was there, and Naomi Watts. <laughs> Nah, I, w- I would probably kick Nicole Kidman out of bed. Uh, Naomi Watts, I, w- I would I would keep, but not Nicole Yeah, Kidman. I like I Naomi Watts. Yeah, Nicole Kidman, she used to be hot. Now she looks like she got run over by a horse carriage or something. A Botox truck? Seriously. Nothing moves. It's like this big, you know, no pores, nothing. Yeah. Face. And I don't know who that other person is. Naomi, Naomi Watts? Watts? Not a clue. Wow, did you uh, ever see is... 21 Grams? Never heard of it. Oh, you should see it. It's a good movie. How about uh, wasn't she in the circle? Never heard of it. I don't know. Horror movie. Never heard of it. Type her up on IMDb, dumbass. Yeah, Jay, watch Twenty One Grams. That's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else she she's in a new movie with Tim Roth called Funny Games. Um. She was in. I uh, she was in um, King Kong, the new one. Oh, that's right. She was in the. Never movie. heard of it. <laughs> Uh, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Peter Jackson. Who? Never heard of it. She was in um, uh, something else. Why are you going to Netflix? Go to IMDb. I was adding 21 grams. 
Oh, okay. I can multitask. Yeah, you'll yeah. like that. That's a good movie. Did you see that, Alex? Twenty one grams? No, I mean, uh, it's it's he it's her and uh, Sean Penn and Benicio del Toro. That's right, and it's like the human the body loses that when it dies or something. Yeah, that's that's like the last monologue or whatever. It's a good movie though. It's a uh, like a shot out of sequence. One of those movies. Oh, okay. I haven't seen a movie like that since uh, Memento. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's not completely backwards though. It sort of yeah. jumps around. Yeah, Memento is kind of weird. I hear there's a code when you get the DVD. I hear there's a code you can type in at the beginning to play the movie in chronological order. Yeah, some, I, I read that somewhere on the internet too. I think I haven't. I have the movie. I haven't tried it though. I My should... internet is not working. Does that mean we're not recording anymore? Um, it's got to be working. You're on Skype. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, like the internet's not working. Oh. Well, okay, only IMDb is not working. Huh. Uh, <laughs> you pissed them off. Now they've, they've blacklisted you. Apparently. They're overloaded with people looking up Ringo Starr now. <laughs> <laughs> and are you guys going to go on a vacation this year? Um, Might be going to Vegas. Really? Want to go to Vegas, Jay? Oh, I do. I have a friend that's going out at the end of June. For like um, a weekend or something. I want to go. Yeah, and, uh, beginning of June, I'm gonna go to Maine. Oh, with uh, oh rafting again. Yeah, there's like 50 people that go uh, every year. So if you want to go, let me know. Uh, we go up for a weekend. Cuanto cuesta? 50 of us. We make like a drunk barge and uh, float down a lazy river and uh, do that all weekend. How much does it cost? Cheap, like 50. What part of Maine? Do you stay in a hotel uh, before you Saco leave? Saco River, somewhere, mm-hmm. somewhere down the Saco River. Do we what? Do you camp the whole time? Oh yeah. Uh no, thanks. I'm not a camper. It's like ten dollars for the campground. Is and there like uh, hot girls rent. I can go in a, in a? There's a lot of women there. In a tent with, or just yeah. a? There's a lot of women. They're all there. fat though. Fuck. I don't want nice girls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For those of you really listening, that will refer back to an, an old thing. Who am I looking up? Naomi Watts. Uh, Naomi Watts. I don't know how to spell Naomi or Watts. I get just an I instead of a yeah. W A T T S, I think. What? At? Yeah. That? Come on. What are you yeah, that's about? from Funny Games. Scroll down, dude, and so you can see what she's in. I don't care what she's in. She like. Isn't that good looking? Dude, look at all the 341 pictures, all right? Well, the one I looked at, isn't that good? No, she's cute. No. no. Sorry. Fail. All right, go back. I mean, why? Is she too old for you? Well, she looks like she's like 63. You don't like blondes? Uh, They're okay. I like brunettes better. I know what it is. I'm not going to say it, but I no, know No, it's it not is. the yellow fever. It's... <laughs> Uh, is that Steve Gutenberg? Uh, oh no, I don't know. Bennett Miller. I don't know who that is. She looks. Pr- oh, she has Prager's there. Yeah, she just had a kid. She's, she's married to uh, uh, what's his name? The guy who played Macbeth in the Shakespeare in the Park a couple of years ago. Steve Schreiber. Steve Schreiber. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> See, there he is. Yep. Handsome looking. That's why I was just reading it off the screen. I really haven't heard of him. You bitch. <laughs> and you pronounce his name correctly. Well, I can pronounce stuff. I just never heard of anything. Reading? Never heard of it. Yeah, what's the score? What's the score? Uh, you're just... They had to start. 10 p.m. Fuck. Yeah. Death. So, um. Brian, you've been quiet. You've got to talk some more. Oh, sorry. I was Brian. taking a nap. Right, you've brought nothing to the table. I told you I didn't have anything this week. I, well, then, I forgot what I was going to so, rant about, and I didn't end up writing it down. Why don't you talk about something that happened three years ago and pretend it happened this week? Uh, what did I do three years ago? I don't even remember. Do you have something in mind? Uh, no, no, I just figured. <laughs> 
Do you guys ever get? I mean, I, Brian, you don't have roommates, right? Not right now. No. 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 Jay, all right. Well, ever in the past, have either of you ever gotten concerned for your roommate? Like, let's say, you like, know, it's, it's a weeknight and it's two a.m. and they're still not home, or it's four a.m. and they're still not home, or it's been four years and he still hasn't stopped playing Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's a doctor and he's not practicing. <laughs> He's a doctor, but he's not being one. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I only ask because uh, uh, it's a little different. Um, I have two women roommates. Mm-hmm. I'm not attracted to either of them, so that'll just dispel any. Are they nice? Other things. They are nice. <laughs> they're very nice. Shannon is <laughs> Shannon is great, and so is and so is Laura. And they're you know they both like to party, and we hang out every once in a while. And stuff, so it's cool. They can both drink me under the table. They're a bunch of booze bags. Fucking like like last night, I'm watching this movie till I don't know eleven. Then I do some more work until about midnight. Hit the sack about twelve thirty. Get to go to the restroom about four a.m. Her door's still open. She's not in there. Get up this morning, still the same way. I was, you know. Somebody lives with a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I have had that happen before, but. Uh... Since Bry's pretty much uh, my only roommate that I didn't despise, I was actually happy. Yeah. When the room was empty. I'm not saying that she was out horrid, but, you know, it did cross my mind. But you are. And the, and the other well, thing What was, else is she doing on a Tuesday night in the middle of February? <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe she's she in a hospital like... or something? I mean... I'm not saying she's horrid, but she was definitely getting fucked. <laughs> she might not have been charging, but she was definitely getting something put inside of her body. <laughs> wow I'm going to send you this link in a second. <laughs> oh my god yep. it'll be funny so you're right, concerned Jeff. that she's been has she been home yet uh, I haven't seen her I was home today you know uh, right after work and then I you know went to the gym and then came back and I was there you know did you send her a text message I didn't because I don't know when. When are you? So you, you don't know, really care. Yeah, that if much. you cared, you would have tried to contact her. But when? When? When is the? You know, I would say we're becoming friends. You right. know, I've only known her for you know six months. Mm-hmm. And at what point? You know, is the roommate? You know, what? What do you do? do if you come home after this fine program and she's still not home, send her a text message and say you're still getting fucked. Are you coming home soon? <laughs> And, uh, Why don't you ask you the know. other girl if she knows anything about it? Right. Um, well, I haven't seen her since then, and she went to bed before oh. I last night. So, I mean, I will, yeah, if I see her. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Be like, are you having a marathon over yeah. there, or what? So I, I, I would, you know, she I'm proud of fu- somebody. She must have found a guy with one of Jay's four packs of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody's getting fucked shit. Trying to trying to think uh, who I gave I maybe, <laughs> maybe the connection here. <laughs> mm. Tell you after that story, uh, people have been asking. They, they want they want some of the blue pills. Well, as soon as I have someone to fuck, I'll be giving you a call. Yep. I'll make a special trip to New York. March twenty seventh. March twenty seventh. Yeah. What's that? It's a uh, it's a girl's birthday. Oh really? Yeah. Awesome. You trailed off there. I didn't hear that. Oh, there's there's a a friend of a friend that uh, has a birthday coming up, where there's a possibility of a uh, deep dicking, romantic encounter of possibility. Oh, I see. Although it's her birthday and there'll be a lot of alcohol involved, and um, she'll be here. She'll be here, and this girl likes to um, do stuff when she's drinking. Anybody I know? Um, no. All right. But I'm, you know, she was around on New Year's. Maybe it's just because I got cock blocked by. Because Charles. no, it's because you showed up after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it was like twelve ten, and Alex runs in. Hey, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Where I come from, the party starts after midnight. You're like running on central time. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. Alex walks in with like three bottles of champagne at like 12.10. Everyone's like, 
blacked out drunk by then. It's pretty funny. That's a good time, yeah. though. Everyone just finished the champagne, and you come in with more. That's not a bad strategy. Yeah. There you go. Ladies, ladies, let's go. I drank, like, a half a bottle of it before I realized it was, like, the worst <laughs> Oh, it was... It was a six dollar champagne. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I shot off a whole bottle of the first one. So. That's right. That was pretty awesome. You're like, just not on us. Oh, damn it! <laughs> All right, the other way. Just... I had the gumption to say that. Wow. Or maybe it was Randy. I don't know. Sounds more like a Randy thing. Usually, you've been drinking for like six hours, so that three dollar bottle of champagne doesn't matter. Like, remember that bar we went to, Jay, on New Year's Eve, the open bar place? That was. I sure. That do. was bad oh, champagne. Sure. <clears throat> that was a fun night. That was. That bartender was trying to kill me. Yeah, that bartender hated her life that day. Yeah. Me and Bri were both like trying to hit on her, and she wanted nothing to do with either of us. <laughs> uh, we got there at, like, what was it, like 8 to 4, and by like 10.30, she was like trying to cut Jay off and slow him down. And then she came over with Jaeger shots for me. I was like, what, I don't need to be cut off here? <laughs> yeah, that was that was ridiculous. We were like, like sampling the menu. We were like, hmm, what haven't? Let's have a screwdriver. Let's have sex on the beach. Let's have a rum and coke. Let's have a Grateful Dead. Let's have a Jaeger shots. <laughs> it's like everything. Wait, she cut you off, Jay? Why? Because you were like ordering five drinks at once. Uh, I just, I guess I was drinking. She was too like, fast. slow down. I'll bring you a beer. And then she brought me a Jaeger yeah. shot. And did a Jaeger shot with me. I was like, uh, what about me? We've been pounding drinks together here for three hours. Uh, yeah, I just, apparently, I look drunker than you did. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What, what, where was this at? Uh, it was at a bar in Long Island. Oh, okay. Oh, what bar? I don't know. Actually, I do know, but nobody cares. I forgot the name of it. It was an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like an hour from your house, and we had to take a cab. You guys left. That's right. You guys ditched me. You guys went to some party around the corner, you and Randy, and then left me there for like an hour. What? I don't know. What you're yeah. About. One of Randy's I friends were having a party, and you were. she was like, oh, let's go to the party. And I was like, I'm not going to the party. I'm staying here because I'm going to not talk to girls and just stare at them all night. <laughs> there is a picture of you on the dance floor all alone holding your own ass. Oh, I love that picture. That's a great picture. It's really fun. Yeah, the pictures are in my closet. Like we had the gay matching there. blue shirts on. <laughs> yeah, oh, awful, awful. Gay blue shirts, all right. Beyond, beyond gay. They were, they were just the worst. I don't know what, what made us do that. I don't that? know. It was a weird phase we were in. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. We're buddies, we're buddies, and we're, no. Yeah, we looked like the Doubleman twins. It was awful. <laughs> shiny, shiny blue shirts. Oh, speaking of that, have you guys seen... I'm fucking Ben Affleck. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Never heard of it. Jimmy it's, it's Sarah Silver, Jimmy right? Kimmel. Oh, oh no, Jimmy well, Kimmel, yeah, but with Ben Affleck, yeah. It's yeah, it's in it's in response I'm to fucking I'm fucking Matt Damon. Which is what Sarah Silverman did. I've never heard of that either. I've heard of it, you I've need seen. to watch well you need to watch I mean it's hilarious because this I'm fucking Ben Affleck, it's you know, Kimmel pretending that he's, you know, whatever. But then they have, like, it's like this We Are the World song because they end up going into a studio and, like, Perry Farrell's there and, like, uh, Robin Williams is there and other actors are there and singers and Don Cheadle is there and uh, some other people. And they are all just, like, you know, singing this song and it's, it's very funny. How come I haven't heard of anything either of you guys have brought up? For these I've heard of I've... that, but I haven't, I haven't bothered to look it up. Too busy getting chased by crazy ladies and getting stuck in elevators. Yep. To... I have no holds barred internet access, my friend. Mm. So when I am bored, I look at almost everything. And I don't know where, maybe at the Jimmy Kimmel, I think I saw that actually on, you know, Extra Mustard on uh, Sports Illustrated. Extra Mustard? Never heard of that. Go to the main page, about <laughs> halfway down on the left hand side, says Extra Mustard, or take you to other things. And then you press it again, and it takes you to... It's basically all these links. It's called the extra clicks, I think. And it just takes you to random things. Some of them are sports-related, some of them are not. Hmm. But... Interesting. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. Because it's not like they just got, you know, some stand-in to play 
Ben Affleck. It was actually Ben Affleck. Huh. Well, check it out. Oh, I'm going to say all the info again, just in case. Say oh, it. Yeah. Uh, you know, these people say they're listening, but, you know, my email box hasn't exactly been blowing up. But um, the email is thebrinkofsanity at gmail.com. The older episodes are on thebrinkofsanity.libsyn.com. It's L-I-B-S-Y-N. Uh, you can vote for us on Podcast Alley. Uh, we dropped from else? like 28 to 30 over the week. Yeah. Yeah, we're at like 31 now or 32. Uh, that's all right. It restarts uh, Saturday. the first of every month. Yeah, Saturday. Cool. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to vote, wait till Saturday and then uh, and then vote. Shoot all the way up there. I'd just like to say um, nappy-headed hoes. Okay. Because I have just put TV on and they're showing the Rutgers women's basketball team. So I just want to say nappy headed hose. <laughs> nice. That's it. I can't do a show with you anymore. <laughs> You're going to intolerance. Well, here's what I love. If, like, Imus went on and said nappy headed hose, and that was super offensive and shocking. But all the news people saying, Don Imus, who called the Rutgers basketball team nappy headed hose. Somehow that's not uh, offensive and shocking. Like, if it's such a bad right. thing, why would they just keep repeating it? Don Imus and his producer, Bernard McGurk, who said, nappy-headed hoes, nappy-headed hoes, nappy-headed hoes. And Jane Fonda saying, yeah. cunt. So, big booty hoes, big booty hoes, big booty hoes. <laughs> it was just an <laughs> old guy, like, being not funny. I mean, it wasn't even bad. But I'm pretty sure every podcast ever has talked about this. Probably, but we're late starting with our podcast. I only bring it up because I just watched that stupid bitch coach. I just heard about it because I was in a bubble apparently. So, Uh, did I did I go through all the contact info? Is that all Uh, we're on? Uh, Skype. Skype. The brink of sanity. sanity. Call Um, us up. Right, 8.30 to 9.30 on Wednesdays. Uh, we're not a live show yet, but that's when we record. So uh, you can just guess at what we're talking <laughs> Clear about. your schedule and jump in. Yeah, just, uh, just start talking about stuff, and uh, you might guess right, and we might be talking about that yep. at the moment. Probably ranting about something. Women or... Well, you can plan ahead and email us about something to talk mm-hmm. about then Skype in and yep. we'll be talking about it it's that, uh, that easy so um, I think that was a good episode yeah not bad you guys got anything to add no I don't think no. so I love lamp so do I we all love lamp you love what <laughs> lamp. lamp I don't know what that means is that code for something <laughs> that's no, it's a movie you've oh. never seen. It, it's a movie you would hate because I know you hate uh, it's a WF. Will, it's a Will oh, movie. I fucking hate Will. Will Ferrell's another one of those people that needs to have like a public, gruesome death Logging. or something. Like he just like I just I just see him and I just want to choke him through the TV. And one of these days I'm going to break my TV because I'm going to try to choke him through it. So not like he just plays the movie. stupidest like stereotypical character like I wish he would just come out of the closet and admit that he's a fag because he just keeps playing him in all these stupid movies I, just, I hate him I just ugh, my blood is my blood pressure just went up now because I'm thinking about how much I want to just stab him <laughs> he is pretty shitty and all his movies are yeah, exactly it's the like same. the same like goofball like whatever I'm going to overact and run yeah out of People eat it up because they're so unintelligent and they have to be force-fed jokes and funny stuff. They can't think for themselves and they can't figure out what's funny, so they have to have somebody like Will Ferrell like crowbar comedy into your head. He's um, this generation's Adam yeah. Sandler, I think. Even though it's the same generation. No, Adam Sandler was more like last generation. Will Ferrell is like... And the, and the next, you know, Adam Sandler was like the '90s. And the next generation is going to be those cocksuckers from Knocked Up, unfortunately. 
It is, but you I didn't, didn't see like it. I refuse to watch it. Then you know, don't say anything. <laughs> I refuse. Did you see yeah, Superbad? I didn't really like it. It was gay. I didn't really it like it either. Gay. Some of it was pretty it was funny. Like, I was just waiting for those two guys to make out. Yeah, it was definitely not as good as not done. Like, not even close. close. But, you know, the channel will be winning. I heard, uh, I did see, uh, like, two seconds of the red carpet before the Oscars, and they had uh, Jason Bateman on. He said they're agreed to make an Arrested Development movie, so that's exciting. Cool. Uh, David Cross. I, yeah, I guess he said they got all the creative people behind it. Now they got a. The he said the adults have to work it out now. So I guess that's like the studio and the producers and all that bullshit. But I guess the whole cast will be in it. Did you see Jennifer Garner get a, accosted by Gary Busey? No, no, not really accosted. He just like came up and gave her a big hug and a kiss on the neck and like. I don't even think they're friends. Oh, I'm sure, they're not. Is that the? That's Ben Affleck's wife. She had huge lips. Jennifer Garner. She was in Alias J. Really she was in. Uh... <laughs> I don't like all this. She was in. She was in that movie stupid. Juno. That, that never was seen up it. her best picture. I should see, see it either. I want to see it yeah. though. You should. I mean, it's not. It's not. There's some really. There's some funny parts, but I mean, it is a little uh, dramatic. That's another guy who has a range. Sarah, Mike, Sarah, Mike, who? Uh, who? Yeah, he, he's the same guy. Oh, the oh guy from Arrested George Development. Michael. Yeah, yeah, he's the same guy in every one. He's he's like the nerdy awkward kid. Although Arrested Development, he was hilarious, and he's everybody on that show is hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, who's the hot Portia blonde in that? Rossi. The lesbian. Oh, the her lesbian. name was lesbian. Her name was yeah. Portia. Yes. And she's in dating real Ellen. Life. Yeah. Yeah. And then Portia. Yes. Yes. Durasi. Yes. Portia Durasi. Okay. I'm no. not saying that's her, like, given name. Maybe she adopted it, but... Yeah. Well, that's even worse. Why would you want Portia? Why would you want Chevy Chase? I don't mean, like, people change their names all the time. That's not his real name? No. What is it? I don't know. Click his IMD page, man. Never heard of it. <laughs> I think you should end on that. Never heard of it. <laughs> Blog? <laughs> Rick of Sanity? Never heard of it. Nobody's well, that's true. That is, that is very true. I don't think... What is it, Charles? In charge? No. If you, Bud? If you go... Bud Chase? Cornelius Crane Chase, Triple C. Okay, so I guess Chase is actually his last name. I didn't know that was the case. But, anyway. Huh. Yeah. He should have just been called <laughs> Triple C. C cubed. Triple C. It's like Triple X. Only not yeah. as dirty. That's... Crane's not bad. Did you ever used to do this uh, at the bowling alley? Like poo and ass. This, uh... <laughs> no, I used to put live girls because if you got three strikes in a row, it would go x x x x x x and <laughs> flash your name. I never got no, three I strikes in a row. That. So... Was... Oh, oh, because that's that's because when I was bowling, I had to write the scores down by hand. Mark it eight, dude. What? Yeah, we didn't have fancy did you, did you, did you, did you... in the eighties. The Long Island Bowl, where you you have to do it yourself. Yeah, it was in Long Island, and you had to take your own score on paper. And what was to prevent you from saying, "Oh, we only won bowl one game"? Because the the computer would tell you how many balls went down the lane. Oh, but you'd have to keep your own score. So they were they could count balls. That's for sure. Yeah, they can count my balls. One, two. But yeah, we had to write our own scores on paper, like. Like animals. I don't know. I, I took a play. I guess uh, at least we didn't have to set up our own pins, <laughs> but still. That was just crazy. Uh, All right. I guess that's that's right. You, got any, you guys got anything? I think in that's all. Playing? No, they're still playing. 
The Knicks All are right, winning. So, uh, next it's 90 week. to 64. Uh, yeah, well, it's Charlotte without, like, yeah. five players. It's probably, like, five probably. on four right now. Everyone on Charlotte. Oh! So, uh, yeah, we'll be back next week, uh, Wednesday. Uh, all the episodes go up by midnight on Wednesday, usually by 11. So if you have to get your hands on this, like, the second uh, it's done. Just keep your iTunes it open it on Wednesday. It'll download right in. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, spread tell the word. Tell a friend and, or tell uh... us. Right, yeah, at least tell us you're listening. So it's like, you know, worth Give it. Give them the email address again. But, um, but, uh, the brink of sanity at gmail.com. So uh, that'll wrap it up for this week. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, I don't know if Alex will be with us or not. He's we know John Hagen will be. We'll see. No, we, we already got feedback. Uh, and if anyone out there listening cool. wants to be a part of it, get Skype, get a microphone, and get in touch with us. And you could be our guest if you don't want to be here the whole time. Come in for five minutes, say what you have to say. You know, we're flexible. We're nice people. Yeah, I got like five people who say they want to do it, but between either downloading Skype or getting a microphone, apparently it's too much for people to handle uh, in less than four weeks. So, uh, still got a bunch of people who want to be uh, guests on here, but um, apparently just uh, clicking download on Skype.com is way too much for them to handle. So, uh, maybe sometime next month when they're feeling up. They just want to ride our coattails once we're successful. They want to jump in and act like they've been here the whole time. Let us get through the rough times and fast. So uh, that's it till next week. Adios. Adieu. Never heard of it.